Hey guys, it's Sunny and Lola and today we are going to finally show you how to make the hydrangeas I made in what we're calling our Ikea room or our room or our Brinabelle's Instagram challenge room that we did recently. We will link it in a card up here right now. But before we get started, Lola, what should the people do? Make sure, and I would wave my hand, but my hand's kind of full right now. Make sure to share this video with your friends and all the cool people in your life. Yes, and now let's get started. So if you can see here, we made three different colors of hydrangeas. Like hand model right <laughs> They are paper hydrangeas. And if you see, they are covered on the bottom, they are covered around the top. And I have made these little leaves out of um, floral tape. So um, they're not really super sturdy, the floral tape isn't. But uh, the flowers are really sturdy. I mean, I can pretty much squeeze and they're not going anywhere. I imagine, though, the leaves really aren't as important as the flowers. Yeah, though. exactly. And, you know, you can make leaves out of paper and other things. I just happened to be in a hurry at the time. And uh, that's why I did that that way. <laughs> so we're going to get started and show you the items you're going to need to make these flowers. The first thing you're going to need is watercolors, and it doesn't matter what brand you use, just watercolors is fine. You'll need a brush, same goes for that, it doesn't matter what kind of brush, and water. The next thing you'll need is a hole punch, just a single hole punch, and some paper, <laughs> copy paper. I like to use the thicker, um, higher uh, weight, but any copy paper will work for this project. Okay, the next two things you'll need are floral tape, which we got this actually, I think, at the Dollar Tree. So for a dollar, you can get a huge roll of it. And then this came from Hobby Lobby, but you can get this almost anywhere, and it's just floral wire. And the next thing you're gonna need is a mini screwdriver. The one that has like the little, I don't know if you guys can see this, so focus camera. The one that has like the little X on the end. This is a little mini one. Unfortunately, I don't know what size it is. I just got this in a little mini screwdriver set. So you'll have to maybe play around with the different ones you have to find the right size. You're gonna need a piece of craft foam. Now I picked a thicker piece, but I have used the thinner pieces of craft foam. And you're going to need some styrofoam balls. And what I did was, these are styrofoam balls, and I just cut them in half. If you're um, under age, if you're a kid, make sure you get help before you use any kind of cutting devices to cut the styrofoam. Um, but typically, I think a butter knife would work, so that would be the safest way. But get permission from your parents or your legal guardian or a grown up in your life that's trusted uh, before you use any sharp object. object. And then the last thing that you'll need to secure the flowers to the actual base is the glue gun and the glue sticks. And we found these at Walmart, I think for about $3 for a huge package. Mm -hmm. And these are mini glue sticks. So just real quick disclaimer, make sure that you always ask for help, an adult's permission, guardian's permission before using hot glue guns. Okay, now I'm teaching Lola how to do this. So the first thing you wanna do, Lola, is you wanna get a little bit of water from, on your brush and put it onto the white paper. We're gonna just do ours in the center of the paper for the sake of demonstration. So you're gonna wet the paper a just, more water. just a little bit. You don't need a ton. Then you're gonna dip your paintbrush back in the water and Maybe? then pick up a color over there. Oh, Any which color. color do I want? Any color I'm you want. go with the pink. Okay. Pick up some color, and then you're going to swish that across the wet spot on your paper. And if you need more color, just go mm, back I and pick. I think I need a different don't, color. Don't dip in the water. Don't dip in the water. <gasps> don't dip in the water. Just get the color. Get the color and go back. And so what you're going to do is you're going to layer colors on here with the watercolors. So if you want to do another color, let's go back into the water and get another, pick up another color. Just okay. Okay. Go and pick up another color, any color at all. Uh, let's go with purple. Purple. Okay. And then you're gonna go back over and kind of swish it around. There you go. Ooh. If you get too much water on your paper, you can just swish it to a drier spot. There you go. And then just kind of l just lines back and forth, lines back and forth. Now I already did one for the sake of this demonstration, so we wouldn't have to wait for it to dry. And I'm gonna show this right now. <laughs> while Lola's continuing to paint. And you can see we just used some random purples and pinks on top of each other. And now we're ready for our next step. All right, Lola, the next step that you're gonna take is you're gonna punch out little holes out of this paper here, the, the painted paper that we just had that's dry. Okay, okay. and make sure that you also get an adult's permission for this too because these can be dangerous as well. <laughs> 
What, what you mean to say is, I've actually broke a pair of these. I don't know how you did it, but you broke a pair. I think the easiest way to do this, ooh. Sometimes it gets stuck. Is to go around the edges like this. So push it all the way on there mm -hmm. um, as far as it'll go. And then to just go around the edges. Always, always save for I was going to say, while you're watching your favorite show, punch these out, you know, after they've dried. And then you can come back to doing the project another day if you don't want to do it right then and there. Which is fine. Uh, okay, okay, so they okay. get the point. So you want to empty them out and let them see what they look like. So then you get these little uh, paper dots. I was trying to get one in my finger. How? <laughs> so they look like this. And, you, and you'll see one is white and the other one is uh, painted the color. Just and like the that. side you're going to be using is the colored side. You're going to use the colored side, and we're going to show you what to do with them next. Okay, so now we have the little screwdriver, and we have all these little pieces on the craft foam. And now comes the fun part. You're just going to push these into the craft foam. You don't want to push them too hard. Don't turn them. Just push it down. There you go. And I'm going to show them what you end up with. Yeah, oh, there we go. So it makes them look like curved and give them like a petal like appearance Doo -doo. and so this process does take a little time but once you get it down it goes really fast so you see what happens it just gives it almost like a petal like appearance see and it makes it like cone shaped at the bottom all right so let's go on to the next step okay now I have cut a piece of the floral wire and I have one of the styrofoam um, halves of the ball, the styrofoam ball. I got these at Joann's. I'm sure they carry them elsewhere. Don't get the real dense ones, the ones that have little tiny holes in them. Get the ones that are more solid because those are better to attach this to. Another method you could use is you could do like little paper clay balls or paper balls depending on what you have experience with, but I just found this to be really easy for I me. I think you could probably do clay too if you needed to. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, you probably could. And then what I did before I glue this is I go ahead and make a hole and stick it in to make sure that um, there's a place to stick it in the hole. And I make it just a little bit bigger than it should be so I can see it. Um, and then all we're going to do is we're going to put glue on the end of this and stick it into that hole to better secure it. I'm just going to put a little so tense, man. tiny dot it's of glue. In. You there we go. Don't touch the glue. Out of my hand. Just kidding. And then we're going to stick it right in that hole and hold it there for a couple of seconds, letting it set. Okay. So there you have it. Now what we're going to do, and this is just simply the next step, is we're going to glue these little petals that we have right, right here. here. All right, hopefully you're going to be able to see this. I'm going to try to do this. It's kind of hard not doing it up close, but you're going to take your glue gun, and I highly recommend one of these glue guns um, that looks, now like focus onto the glue gun. There you go. I highly recommend one of these glue guns that has the little fine tip for this project. But you're just basically going to put like a tiny dot of glue, just a tiny one. One, could pro one dot of glue will probably get two of these. And then you're going to set this. I just use the tweezers because it keeps me from burning myself. And also it's probably a little bit safer too, just yeah. in general. And then you're going to take another one if you've got enough room in the glue there. So basically all you do is just start gluing this. And you glue these all the way around. I'll glue a few more rows so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And then I'll show you guys the um, final product, which is one of the, the ones I've already got made over here. So I'll be right back. Okay, now you can see how much progress I've made. I've got the whole kind of top part covered. I hope you guys can see that really, really well. And what you'll do is you'll just continue, continue, <laughs> continue to cover this shape with the flowers. And then you'll flip it over and on the bottom you'll just cover it in flowers as well until you have the desired shape you want. And let's just end with showing you guys again the finished product. Here you go, Lola. You know, we probably and, shouldn't tell, tell Stan about these because I know who he'd be giving these to. <laughs> anyway, um, one other tip that I want to give you that I did with these just to give it a little bit more depth in the color, give it maybe a darker hue if I, I thought these were a little bit too light, maybe a little bit too bluish green. Um, I used some chalk pastel. Yes. Chalk. 
and um, I brushed it over the top of these to give them a little bit more color. And also, if I had any white from the back of the paper cutouts, um, that would cover up the white a lot more so that you don't see the the white bags so and the other tip that I have for this is I'm not the crafter but I like to get creative when mm -hmm. it comes to stuff like this so mm -hmm. don't feel like you have to do a specific color go with the fantasy go with yeah. the crazy colors and make sure to leave us a comment or not leave us a comment make sure to tag us on Instagram if you do this project mm -hmm. so that we can see your exactly final results and for the leaves I, we just simply took a took some of the paint or the painters tape uh, the floral tape we just cut leaf shapes out of them and then twisted them onto the uh, flower base. That's all we did. Nothing major. This is a very easy uh, craft and these look really pretty in a container. We have like a little wood container we put ours in with some styrofoam in the bottom that we just tucked them in. But we made it so that we could take them out. You can put these in vases. And they're durable You too. can put them in almost anything. Yeah, see I just drowned one. <laughs> So I hope you guys like this little tutorial. I'm sorry I'm not very good at tutorials. I'm hoping to get better. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And on that note, Lola, I think that's all we have for the people. Do you yeah. have anything to say? Uh, make sure that you also leave a comment below if you have mm -hmm. any suggestions for some new ideas for crafts. Mm -hmm. Give this video a big thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Hit the subscribe button as yes, well. Exactly. And become part of our notification squad by ringing the bell. Yeah. Word. <laughs> uh, we love you guys and thank you so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We'll see you in the next video.